So this is another question from CAT 2021, slot 1, quantitative aptitude. The number of integers, the n, that satisfy the inequality mod of n minus 60 less than mod of n minus 100 less than mod of n minus 20. So we are required to find the number of integers and not exactly the solution to this inequality. So the first thing we need to know is what is the meaning of mod of a minus b. Let us first try to understand by drawing a number line. So let's say this is a number line. And when I have two points on this number line a and b, and when we try to calculate mod of a minus b, what does it imply? Mod of a minus b is nothing but this distance. So it implies the distance between a and b. So mod of a minus b or mod of b minus a, it doesn't affect. So mod of any difference of any two numbers is nothing but the distance between those two numbers. This is the first thing you need to understand here. So to solve our question here, we have to first draw a number line. So let's say we draw a number line here. And all the critical points here, 60, 100, and 20, we just plot these points. So here I'll have 20, I'll have 60 somewhere in between, I have 100 in between. So when I use the word mod of n minus 60, it means the distance of n from 60. Or mod of n minus 100 is the distance for from 100, distance of n from 100. Or mod of n minus 20 is nothing but distance of n from 20. Let us take first the inequality. Mod of n minus 100 is less than mod of n minus 20. So if you take an n towards 20, below 20. So if I take n here, you can see that the distance between n and 20 has to be less than the distance between n and 100. So for any region between n bet, uh, below, below 20, the value of this mod has to be less. So n minus 20 has to be less. Mod of n minus 20 has to be less. And therefore below 20, the inequality mod of n minus 100 is less than mod of n minus 20 will not hold. So n cannot be less than or even equal to 20. What about above 100? Because now we have divided it into regions, right? This number line is divided into region below 20, between 20 and 60, between 60 and 100, between 100 and 120. What happens in the next region? And the next region I take is above 100. So if n lies anywhere above 100, I can easily see that the distance between n and 100 is shorter than the distance between n and 20, which is essentially this distance. You can easily see that. So what will we say? That above 100, this inequality definitely holds. So one thing is sure, the inequality will hold for every value of n, which is greater than or equal to 100. Now what happens between 20 and 100? Let us try to see what happens between 20 and 100. In fact, since 60 is the midpoint, if n is equal to 60, if n is equal to 60, mod of 60 minus 100 is actually equal to mod of 60 minus 20. So at 60, the value of these distances is equal. So obviously, for mod of n minus 100 to be less than mod of n minus 20, the value of n should be towards 100. So towards 100 means it must be above 60. So in which range, in which range will the first inequality satisfy above 60? So if n is greater than 60, the inequality mod of n minus 100 is going to be less than mod of n minus 20 is going to satisfy for n greater than 60. Because we already have seen that for greater than 100, this inequality holds true. Now let us consider the second inequality, n minus 60 must be less than mod of 
this inequality n minus 60 mod of n minus 60 must be less than mod of n minus 100. Again, if you want to look at the second inequality, let us look at the same number line and now the number line can be divided into three regions, less than 60, between 60 to 100 and bet uh, beyond 100. So if you look at n, the value of n above 100, you can see that the distance of n and 100 is always going to be less than distance between n and 60, sorry, n and 60. So obviously, you cannot have n greater than 100, n can't be greater than 100, that's for sure. For less than 60, what happens? Suppose, the, suppose n is here. I can easily see that for less than 60, the distance of n from 60 is less than distance of n from 100. So for all values less than 60, it will hold true. But what about the region between 60 and 100? For the region between 60 and 100, there has got to be some value, some point at which the distance of n and 60 is equidistant from the distance of n and 100. And what is that point? It must be the midpoint of 60 and 100, that is 80. So at 80, n minus 60 is equal to, mod of n minus 60 is going to be equal to mod of n minus 100. But I want that to be less than 60. So I want n to be in this range. If mod of n minus 60 has to be less than mod of n minus 100, then n must be closer to 60. So we have two values now. One is if n is less than 80, mod of n minus 60 is less than mod of n minus 100. So on the one hand, we had to have n greater than 60. At the same time, we have to have for the second inequality, n must be less than 80. So how many values greater than 60? So which means 60 has to be less than n has to be less than 80. So six, n has to lie between 60 and 80. So which are the integers that lie between 60 and 80 which satisfy this inequality from 61 to 79 all integers will satisfy these are 19 and hence option 4 is your answer. It's a very interesting question but you can solve it very easily if you understand the concept of mod that is the mod between of difference of two numbers is nothing but the distance between these two numbers.